प्लीज थ्रो सम लाइट ऑन एस्ट्रोड माइनिंग एंड इंटरप्लानटरी ह्यूमन स्पीशीज इन द फ्यूचर ओके सो वी आर नॉट क्वाइट एन इंटरप्लानटरी स्पीशीज राइट नाउ नो ह्यूमन बींग एज एवर सेट फुट ऑन अनदर प्लानट द फर्दर्स वी गॉन इज द मून विच इज अवर ओन सैटेलाइट we have human beings in orbit around the earth on the international space station and various nations have the ability to send human beings into space in the chinese have it the indians will also do it in a year or two by 2026 or something so uh that's the best we can do right now the best we can do technologically is to get to the moon now maybe by 2030s by, by the 2030s maybe by the 2040s you may have the first human beings on mars that's what elon musk wants to do the technological ability to do that will be available to him very soon that the gigantic rocket is developing so uh so yeah eventually we if all goes well we will become an interplanetary species the next place we will go to will obviously be mars which is the most logical place to go to venus is too hot to hellish to even think about unless you want to stay in orbit or in the upper reaches of the atmosphere of venus but mars makes sense it is smaller it is more earth like and you could even terraform it over a period of a few centuries or or faster if you use dirty means <laughs> and so on so yeah humanity could become an interplanetary species in the future as long as we do things properly and don't have a third world war or whatever asteroid mining is is much more far fetched theoretically certainly you can do it you get asteroids which are rich in various metals and minerals you know some asteroids may have more more iron than the entire iron uh, uh or this that's present on our planet that's also possible but the thing is this the asteroid belt between uh, the orbit of mars and and jupiter it is almost empty okay it's a tremendously large number of asteroids but it's almost empty space there are millions of kilometers between two asteroids on average it's almost empty space so how do you find the asteroids how do you reach there how do you mine them how do you bring them back to your planet it's a tremendous amount of <coughs> investment of time of 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 resources of fuel and all that that you have to do just to get the contents of one asteroid back so eventually if you uh, if you have have the technology to harness the resources of the, of the whole solar system then asteroid mining makes sense but right now it's it's, it's far fetched it's not going to create trillionaires billionaires anytime soon at least not for the next century minimum maybe not the next couple of centuries i could be wrong i hope i am wrong but the way the technological progress is happening it doesn't look like that that that's going to happen so uh, theoretically very possible but practically impractical <laughs> from a realistic perspective